Hey guys, here's step one of building your own website. The first thing I'm going to have you do is to go to reclaimhosting.com. This is the host that I recommend you use. They're solid, they're focused on education, and they're pretty affordable. So once you're here, you're going to want to click on this sign up button. And then you're going to want to choose the personal uh, web plan. On this page, you're going to look for a domain name. Perhaps I want to look for briancroxel.com and you'll find out that that already exists so, so you can't have that but maybe you can also change to other things and maybe I want briancroxel.uk. You can see that that's available and but maybe you've got regrets. Let's try brianlcroxel.com. Use my middle initial. So eventually when you've got one that you like go ahead and click continue here. And now you want to choose your billing cycle. You probably don't want to pay for more than a year at a time, so just leave everything here and click the checkout button. Now this is asking you here if you want to have your domain protected in the Whois service. So everyone that owns an internet site, there is this registry called Whois. It tells you who owns it. Reclaim Hosting will, instead of publishing your name and your address and your phone number and your email address, they'll cover it up with this shell thing. Uh, so this is legal, you're not cheating anybody, but you're not exposing your information on the internet then. So I strongly recommend you leave this as it is. Click continue. Make sure that everything here is right. This is your domain that you're getting, and then you're also registering it. So what you're paying for here is $15 to get the URL name, and $30 for the hosting the space to put information that you are going to have for the year. So it will cost you $45. Go ahead and then fill in your information here. When you get your email address, they strongly recommend not using a .edu address because often it goes to spam. So maybe use something like a Gmail address instead. Fill all this in, scroll down, put in your payment information accept the terms of service and click complete order. And that's it. Step one is done. You have registered a domain.